um, continuing with the living in my purpose journey video series um, and this video will be focused on fears what type of fears that you have what may be blocking you from walking into your purpose and I, I mean you I'm really talking about me girl <laughs> So um, the previous videos I had, if I can remember correctly, we had my introduction and what this series would be about, um, what I've been doing basically also, um, creating a career vision board, which has been going wonderful. And now we're gonna talk about my fears because I think that is really important to determine how you're going to tackle those fears and address those fears um, so that you can get through that and begin doing the fun stuff, which is working towards um, finding your purpose in life. Which, and I say you, I mean me, really. So, I want to give you guys two resources to look into, because um, I'm assuming that some of you guys are gonna be following me during this journey. One is Erica Jackson, and I mentioned her before. Her, her entire get up, I should say, is about fear and releasing fear. And she does it from a spiritual perspective. Um, I met her a couple of years ago at a women's convention here in um, Phoenix, Arizona. And she was so mind blowing that I had to search her out. So I've been following her. She also offers um, some self-development or self-help guidelines and books and audio, all that jazz on finding your purpose in life. I've, cre I've created, I've purchased several of her books. I actually went ahead and read her vision book. And since her core focus is fear, um, that's, she has tons of information and resources. So I'm gonna be linking her website down below. She does offer a couple of freebies too, so please check her out. Another one actually is a fellow YouTuber, which is where I got a lot of my information that I'm gonna be sharing to, with you today. I just discovered her last week, isn't God good? And it was a hair related video because she's a natural hair YouTuber and she has beautiful hair. And her name is TJ loves being natural and I'm gonna be linking her um, site down below to at least her channel down below. So let's just get right into it. Before I do that, I want to give you guys an update on some milestones I have hit. It has been a very productive month. We're, it's February 28th, I think, March 1st. I, let me tell you, I've gotten so much done and there were some things that I wasn't as good about and I'll just let you guys know about that because I believe in being transparent transparent and transparency I should say um, with my own stuff too because it holds me accountable okay so the first thing is I got baptized amen which was very very um, instrumental for me as a as a believer in Jesus Christ so got baptized that was in one of my vlogs if you follow my um, vlog videos I tried my I'm laughing the next one I tried my best not to look at any ratchet TV so I definitely don't watch any Real Housewives of Atlanta I didn't look at any vlogs I didn't look at any reviews I saw two episodes of Married to Medicine which it was pretty good all month. So yeah, and I didn't do too good with that, but I tried my best, okay? I completed my career vision board, and I'm not sure when I'm gonna be releasing these videos, but you should have already seen that prior to this. Now, I will say that I haven't really been focusing on the vision board, because unlike my career vision board, my goals vision board, I really took weeks to look at it after I was done. For weeks, I was looking at it. I was meditating almost on it. I was, yeah, I was soaking it, soaking it in, which is why I think it's been so effective for me. With my career vision board, not necessarily. I felt like it was just something on my to-do list to get it out the way, but I really need to focus on it. Now, it is saved on my desktop. It is saved on my phone, and that's how it works. But you also need to be looking at it um, and visualizing your go your goals manifesting. Okay, that's how there's that's how they work. Okay. Um, what else? What else? Another thing I didn't do too good on, girl, I didn't lose any weight. No, I didn't gain any weight. I'm still fluffy. I didn't gain any weight, but I didn't lose anything. I, I should put it like this. My weight would go back and forth. One pound, three pounds. Two pounds, three pounds. One, so that's all water weight. If it's less than, I think, honestly, if it's less than five pounds, that's all water weight, gas bubbles. That's not no real weight, girl. No, but. <laughs> And what really has helped me before I get into the fears, what really has helped me is staying focused, not getting distracted, 
keeping my short-term goals in mind um, and looking at the bigger picture, okay? And, and I, I should also add not being discouraged or not feeling defeated when I haven't reached these small goals. So yeah, I didn't lose any weight. That don't mean that I'm gonna be like, all right, girl, I'm done. I'm not even gonna try to lose any weight anymore. No, we still got what? Nine, 10 more months in a year. I'm gonna keep at it, okay? I'm gonna keep making small changes in my lifestyle so that I can have a healthier lifestyle overall. Does that make sense, y'all? I think a lot of times we get discouraged easily um, and we're not looking at the long-term goals. You know, you just keep at it. Don't, don't be discouraged and don't give up, okay? So yes, I feel good where I'm at right now. Um, there's a lot of things that have came up. I've been praying about, you know, I've been praying and asking God to uh, bring people into my life, to bring, to bring situations into my life so that I can grow and it has been happening, okay? Challenge, when you get challenged with things in your life, that's an opportunity for growth. Um, I never look at the storm and be like, oh my God, here, a storm is coming, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna walk through it and I'm gonna grow and I'm gonna learn. That's how I've learned to think, you guys. So. Speaking of, let's go right into the fears. So, um, like I said, definitely look up Erica Jackson and the YouTuber that I mentioned. And I'm really going to be um, just sharing with you uh, some things that I've, I've done, some steps I've taken. And a lot of this I did get from the YouTuber, but a lot of it I already knew about. And I knew that these are things that I needed to do in order to address my fears and tackle them, okay? So one of the first things you want to do is to list your fears, jot them down no matter how crazy they may be. I'm afraid to take control of a project. Why is that? Okay, that's what I'm talking about. I'm afraid, I mentioned uh, in my other video, I'm afraid of reporting. I don't wanna do them. I refuse to do them sometimes. Why is that, okay? Um, on a personal le level, I'm afraid of not being enough. Not being enough for my husband. Not being enough for JB. So what I have to really do is do a, a self-evaluation or self-analysis, okay? So why am I afraid of reporting? Why really am I afraid of getting sick? What past incidents or incident, what triggered that fear? So that's what I have to do and I literally, and I'm not gonna show, share with you guys all of them. I'm gonna give you one example, okay? Identifying the fear, why do I have the fear? What's the root cause of this fear? And then how can I tackle this fear? Which for me personally, since I am a Christian, one of the ways is with scripture. So I'm gonna be lining up a very sp specific, look, the Bible is there for a reason. It's not there for you to just take it to, to, take it to church on Sunday and go through it and say, uh-huh, amen. So for an example, because I know people are like, well, how are you going to do that, Vivian? How are you going to use scripture? Okay, I'm going to show you. So one of my fears is, I have it written down here, is leading, taking control. So then I list several reasons why I have this fear. Failing as a leader, being responsible for someone else's failures, being fired, um, and just being, being responsible for failures in, in general. So that's one of the reasons why I'm afraid to lead. The reason why I have this is because that has happened at a previous job I was at. It happened at Apollo Group. The entire department was let go because of a failed project, okay? But not only that, but I have some other things that have happened and I'm like, ah, I don't know if I wanna, I don't know if I wanna be responsible for all that, okay? So then, what is the benefit though of me becoming a leader and owning a project? I'm gaining a skill set, um, pro a possible promotion if it's if it's successful. So, what are some ways that I can possibly overcome this fear? Well, how about I host an impromptu training with my instructors? Um, how about I take some a new LMS administrator under my wing and kind of mentor her or him? Um, and just take ownership of an upcoming of an upcoming project. Just Volunteer, okay? So those are some ways I can get, get through that particular fear. When it comes to scripture, okay? What type of scripture can I look up? Let me go right to my Bible, okay? Don't be afraid to use your phone, y'all. So here are some scriptures in regards to leadership. Um, I like this one, Proverbs eleven fourteen, where there is no guidance, the people fail. But in abundance of counselors, there is victory. So, that is what I'm going to be doing. I really do think that fear can, it is a nasty thing, you guys. And I, I suffer from anxiety, but I will say this, since I've been getting up with that, with that schedule and that, in that routine, I haven't been feeling any anxiety at all. 
Isn't that amazing? I haven't had any type of anxiety like that. Any type of thoughts that come up, I immediately let it flee from my mind. I don't have time for that anymore. Um, I don't focus on uh, the negativity. Things are gonna happen, let's just be honest. There's some things that are gonna happen, but right now, while things are great, and while I'm in this moment, I'm trying to remain as positive as possible. And I think that's one of the, another reason why I've been so productive in the last month or so. So that is it, you guys. That is how I'm gonna be hopefully, hopefully be tackling this. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you as always to all of my new subscribers. Take care, bye. And then just some other images here, again, that are aligned with my career path, uh, SharePoint, SOPs, 